guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia if this is your first time visiting my channel. Today I am participating in an open collaboration, open invite from Natalie from Design to the Nines. It's called Girls Can Use Power Tools. This is a monthly challenge that she hosts. I have participated in all of them up until now. I know there is a break until January, so this is the last one for this year. So um, I and every month she has a different co-host i will have her channel link down below as well as ashley from ashley lauren who is her co-host for this month and her channel link down below and i will also link down the playlist for all the ladies participating in this challenge um the only rule for this challenge is that we show how we use power tools so for my project i will be my making advent calendars i will be making two of them because I have two children and um, I will be using a uh, table saw and a drill uh, to do this so I, I will show you the supplies that I will be using besides those um, power tools so without further ado let's get started so here are the supplies that I will be using um, so I have three of these, one by two by eight. I have these wooden stars that came from Dollar Tree. I have these little burlap sacks that I ordered on Amazon. I have these little hooks, they came from Dollar Tree. I use them for a different project, but they're coming in handy now. So I have two packages. And then I have the gel stain, the Old Masters gel stain, and it's in Spanish oak. And a brush. I also have a level, I'm just using this as a ruler and a measuring tape, a drill bit, and an old white chalk paint. Then I also have some wood glue and some clamps if I need them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to stain these. I'm not looking for extreme coverage just a bit of coverage to give it a different look than just what it is so you want to go fairly gen gently over it I actually might use something else to paint it I am going to use a cheesecloth all done it doesn't take long to dry because I did just a very light coat I will measure them out and I am measuring so the first cut is twelve then I'm doing fifteen and then I'm doing 18 and 20 and 22 so 20 and 22 so I will cut two of them this way just going to mark them off a little bit better mm -hmm. 
So two of them will be cut that size and this one will be cut into 36. So make sure you practice safety, wear safety glasses. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of stain on each end. Together. Just want to make sure that they are aligned exactly. save the pieces of wood that are I'm not using for maybe some other project so you're gonna start with your smallest one and you want to have space for three hooks which if it's 12 it should be every well I'm not gonna do I'm, I think I'm gonna do 10 because I'm gonna leave an inch on each section so if I do an inch here and then so it's 30 centimeters all together uh, then you remove so you got 10 inches you remove so inch and inch from there so that an inch there <clears throat> there <clears throat> so that leaves me with 10 inches and the middle is five inches so you want to do your because you're putting three so your first one is at one inch second one from that is at um, five inches, right? No, that the middle is right here. So at one inch and six inch mark would be the right one, and then back at one inch. Three so one taken one inch from here one inch from here mark it and then put one in the middle that's the way I'm doing it and now I'm going to use my drill to pre-drill I'm just going to open these up a little bit just so I can fit my bags in there and then you just screw them in and it should be fairly easy with the pre-drill holes there Okay, so now I'm going to repeat the same process for this one and for the rest of them and I will uh, show you all the measurements on how I did it, um, I'll write out all the dimensions in the description box. So I have attached all of the little hooks to all of them and I'm just going to, before I paint the edges, sand these a little bit. Just so you don't get 
splinters. And then I'm going to add the stain to that. And I'm also going to be adding stain to my star, which I should have done when I stained these, but I forgot. Now that I have completed staining everything, I am going to assemble them. You just want to make sure that everything is somewhat centered uh, before you glue it on um, and then there's about the same amount of spacing in between I'm not gonna measure I am just going to eyeball it and this is where I'm gonna use the wood glue and you don't want to put too much because you don't want it to leak out Let's see if these will Woo! if this will go over I didn't think it would so I'm not gonna use these um, and you want to make sure that they are fairly straight on there I mean if they're a little bit off it's not a big deal but just don't want them to be completely crooked. I am going to use some weight to put on them. do the same thing for the second one so while these are drying and curing I am going to finish these up just because I want to spruce them up a little bit I don't want them just to be black or stained so I'm going to use my chalk paint I'm gonna try something first hopefully it'll work I did this technique the other day and I really like the outcome. I think they look much better now with a bit of chalk paint so now I'm gonna glue these onto the top of the the the, the trees there so I'm going to let this cure you can see I put some weight on it on them and uh, once I come back I'm going to um, show you how I attach the bags 
so I have decided to stencil the numbers onto these bags and I am using the Christmas green uh, acrylic paint and deep red acrylic paint as well as this stencil that I got from Dollar Tree and two foam brushes. So I'm gonna work in batches and I'm going to do just put it in a corner and I'm just gonna dab it so it doesn't leak through so one Make sure you wipe the back of the stencil before putting it on just in case. Now when you start with the double digits, you want to put the, the, so for 10 you want to put the zero closer to the edge and work the other way around to the right. That way you for sure leave yourself enough room. So here it is, times two. I think it turned out really cool. And you can put all sorts of stuff in them other than just candy. You can reuse some of your Halloween candy to put in there so they don't eat it all in the first week after Halloween. Um, for teenagers, you can put for girls some um, maybe cosmetic samples gift cards or things like that just like you know five dollar itunes card or whatnot so i would like to thank ashley and natalie for hosting this challenge i love participating in it and i hope you guys uh, enjoy all the videos in the playlist and if you are brand new to my channel first time visiting i would love for you to press that subscribe button and a notification bell stick around there's lots to see lots more diys coming your way and other home decor i also do cleaning cooking videos so a little bit of everything for everyone so until next time hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching